What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the ranked double ladder with this team sent in by Biggs. Biggs, thank you so much for dropping this team. I cannot wait to show it off. It looks awesome. Looks like we're going to get some wins. If you guys want to drop teams for me, head to the link in the description below to my Instagram page. That's the best way of getting teams to me. Hit that follow button over there and DM me, you guys, teams. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button as well and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. But yo, Biggs, this team looks awesome. Let's get into it, yo. We got Charizard on the team. This is a Sun team, as you guys can tell. Charizard on it with that Life Orb and that Solar Power. This thing is big damage. One of the best Sun Pokemon in the game. It is just so strong with Heat Wave, Air Slash, Solar Beam, and Focus Blast. I do love the moveset, but I think I'd rather go in with like a Protect instead of a Focus Blast. That just helps out a lot more. But Focus Blast isn't bad, so now we got that Fighting Coverage as well. We also got Moxie Gyarados. This thing is an absolute beast as well. We got Earthquake, Dragon Ant, Waterfall, and Bounce. Awesome moveset for Gyarados with that Moxie and that Wiki Berry as its item. We got Talonflame over here with Gale Wings. I've been loving Talonflame, especially Gale Wings Talonflame. It gets that first turn priority when HP is full. It's a great Talonflame Pokemon, and it can hit like an absolute truck. This thing has Bright Powder as well, so the accuracy coming up against it is going to be lower. So maybe you can dodge some attacks. Maybe we can make some plays here. This thing has Taunt, Tailwing, Dual Wing Beat for Stab, and Flare Blitz for Stab. Can't have a Sun Team without Torkoal. We got Drought Torkoal over here with Charcoal, with Heat Wave, Eruption, Solar Beam, Protect. Nothing new. Everything's normal with the Torkoal. We got the same thing with the Venusaur, the Chlorophyll, and the Wylands with the Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, Sleep Powder, Solar Beam. Again, nothing new. And then in the final spot, we got this Beast of a Butterfree. Can put Pokemon to sleep left and right with the Compound Eyes, the Focus Ash, Air Slash, Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder, and Palm Puff. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and get some wins. Hopping into our first battle, and you guys can tell we're going up against the dreaded most OP Pokemon, Togedemaru. This thing's an absolute monster over here. I think I used this team before. I used a Togedemaru team, like, kind of like this, that I went really well with. It had the Duraludon and the Glaring Weezing, but that was a while back. That was definitely a while back, but who should I lead right off the rip? He might lead Braviary, try to get Tailwind, or he might just go for a fake out move with the Togedemaru, which I could 100% see, or see that happening. Hmm. How should I do this? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of want to go into uh, Talonflame and get the Tailwind up. At the same time, go in with uh, like Butterfree or something. I don't know. What should I do? We're definitely going to go bring Talonflame. Definitely get Talonflame up in here. Uh, but you know Togedemaru is going to come out here, fake me out, and then uh, roll out with the speed advantage? Hmm. Mm. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm definitely going to bring Talonflame. I kind of want to bring Sun Squad. So let's go, let's go Garrus. Let's lead a Garrus. Where should I lead a Butterfree? Make him choose who he wants to figure out. Yeah, let's make him choose who he wants to figure out. Now, nah, you know what? We're going to, we're going to lead Venusaur here. We're going to lead Venusaur, bring Torkoal and uh, Charizard in the back end. I think that's fine. I think that works out wonderful, beautifully. He's definitely got to bring Primarine. I think he's going to go Extra Drill, uh, Togedemaru, Braviary maybe, and a Primarina. But he's definitely bringing that Togedemaru. He actually might bring, what's it called? Glaring Weezing for that neutralizing gas. That can actually work out very, very well for him. Just cancel out all my abilities and all that. Like, bro, get out of my face. Who's going to lead? Who's going to lead? Got to be Togi, right? He does not lead Togi. He leads the Weezing, so no abilities popping out here. So no compound eyes. No Gale Wings coming out here. Mm, what should I do? What should I do? He's definitely going to go for, like, a Brave Bird or maybe just Dynamax and try to take out my Venus right here. So should I swap? This thing has the Air Balloon as well. The lovely little Air Balloon. I could go for a Tailwind and then have Venus right out speed, right? I think that could be the play. And then just throwing this thing to sleep. I think that's 100% the play right here. We just Tailwind. We should outspeed anyway. Regardless of our Gale Wings. Talonflame's rather fast Pokemon. But yeah, I knew he was going to Dynamax that Braviary. So hopefully we can just put this thing to sleep. Cancel it out right then and there. And just be rolling out. I couldn't. No, it actually wouldn't have worked. But I would have swapped into the Torkoal. Because we wouldn't have had our core built ability. And the Drought wouldn't even came out. Regardless. So it's just like a lose-lose there. That would have been a waste of turn. But Tailwind will always help us out. That'll be beautiful. Tailwind! Oh, yeah. Dude, if we can put this thing to sleep, we'll be chilling. We'll be cooking with oil. We ain't going to protect. That's totally perfectly fine by me, man. I'm cool with that when I'm dealing with it. Tailwind comes out here. Venusaur should be able to outspeed now. And potentially get off this sleep powder. Land this, boy. Land it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Wasting Dynamax turns out here left and right. You love sleep. All right, so now that we got the sleep going... Um, maybe we should just, uh, pester up on this, uh, Weezing so we can eventually get Sun and all that. Or I could just Dynamax my, uh, could definitely Dynamax my boy there. But now we're just gonna go for a Gale Wings over here, and we're going to, uh, double up into you. He's not Levitate, right? No. 
not levitate, so this will be super effective, but it's only covered. Let's get it. He can't protect here. He's going to protect next turn. I know that for a fact. Let's see what you got, kid. Oh, we're, we're aiming for a three-turn sleeper. We are 100% aiming for the three-turn sleep. I'm not dealing with this Braviary. We have one down, two to go. At least a two. If he wakes up this turn, I'm, I'm going to be pretty sad about it. And I waste it. Well, I didn't waste any turns, but still. Like, dude, sleep powder should at least go for two. Unless you're like... I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> but... I'll make a move, kid. I think he's thinking of swapping out. Let's see what he does. He does swap out. He does swap out into... Okay, so neutralizing gas wears off. We're going to go first with the dual wing beat. And Togo Tomorrow's going to come in here. We might be able to just dump on this thing. That'd be lovely. Get rid of this thing. We're hitting him with that ground move. Get it. Get it. EP, take it out. EP, take it out. EP, do him dirty. Get it, EP. Get it, EP. Let's go. Togo Tomorrow out of here. Yo, we're not dealing with that OP mod. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, that thing's gone. Bravey already still slumped. We're looking good here. Playing playing first game very, very well. So far, so far. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Still got the speed advantage. No more neutralizer gas. So, uh, Gale Wing's going to come out here. We're totally fine with that. Uh, Premier is probably going to protect. No lie. But I'm still going to force it, or I'm still going to go after it with a, uh... I still go after it. And just dueling beat over on here. Keep my first turn priority. Start doing damage to him. But, do I go for a solar beam? I honestly think this thing protects. Like, no lie. But I just start with sleep. Now I'm just gonna go for a slow jump while we're here. He's gotta protect, right? No, he does not protect. Okay, I'm fine with that. Do a little bit of damage here, and then we'll get a nice big old sludge bomb out of here. Nice little stab damage. Hopefully this thing is three turns sleep. That'll be just magnificent, but I think it's gonna be up. I think it's gonna wake up. Sludge bomb coming out. Boop! Not bad damage. Not bad damage. Give me the poison, yo. Give me that poison. Get out of my face, kid! Bravey already wakes up. Airstream's definitely coming out. Over onto my uh, Venusaur slot. Which is fine. Venusaur goes down. And I think he's going to take out my what's called as well. I think he's going to take out my uh, my Talonflame as well. With this big old... Uh, what is it even called? What are you going for? The water move, right? Yeah, Hyper Voice with Liquid Voice. Going to do some damage to it and take out my Talonflame. Okay, so we have one more turn left in Tailwind. We have one more turn left in Tailwind. This Dynamax is over. I have Charizard and Torkoal out here. Charizard and Torkoal. And he might come back out with Neutralizing Gas. Which if he does, I would just counter my uh, Solar Power. Torkoal coming out here. They do some dirty work. So I gotta take out the Primarina, I feel like. Here comes Charizard. Definitely got a Dynamax big dog. Dynamax him, take out the Braviary. Maybe just try to drop a Solar Beam. Oh no, we gotta take out the Primarina. We gotta take out the Prune Marina. Actually, the water move will do less damage. Hmm. Hmm. And I know Prune Marina is probably rocking attack. I'm still gonna drop a Heat Wave. I'm gonna go after this Prune Marina. Do I Overgrowth? How do I, how do I play this one? Do I Airstream? I think I'm gonna start Airstreaming to match uh, speed. Yeah, we're gonna start Airstreaming to match speed. Because once this Tailwind ends, I don't want anybody having this speed advantage over the other. This is our last turn in Tailwind. And we got a G Max Charizard. We played that one or the start very, very well with the Sleep Powder and going into the Tailwind, just like predicting the Braviary Dynamax and all that good stuff. And then luckily the Weezing did protect, so that was kind of just like a free turn for us. That is the worst when you protect and they don't attack you. Like, bro, I just wasted a turn. He got a huge advantage off on me. So protects are either good or bad, depending on how it goes out for you guys. Airstream comes out. We're going to be able to take out Free Marina. I'm not dealing with it. And then Heat Wave is, uh, I think Heat Wave's going to definitely take out Braviary here. It's definitely going to take out that Braviary. But you know what stinks? When the bands come out, they're banning Torkoal. I saw Torkoal's name on the list. I'm like, bro, not the turtle. He's the king of Trick Room and Sun Teams right here. Like, what do you mean? He's going to set up a Tailwind before he does go out, which is pretty smart. But luckily, we are starting to counteract with uh, the Airstreams and all that. Heat Wave comes out. Should be able to kill. Braviary gone. It comes down to, to a 2v1 here. We are sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. It is us two up against a glaring Weezy. Like, we got this one in the bag. Solar power ability is not going to work out anymore because the uh, neutralizing gas is going to come into effect. But still, we're fine. We're in the sun. We can erupt. We can go G-Max Wildfire. We get the stab boost plus the sun boost. Like, everything is chilling here. Everything is chilling. Eruption. with the G-Max Wildfire. He's just going to quit. He's going to cancel the battle anyway. So, GG. Let's go. There it was. There's the cancel of the battle. And we go 1-0 to start off this video.
So supposedly Comfy and Gudra has been a really good combo on the meta. I haven't really been playing as much as I used to, but I heard this is actually big and a very strong combo. So we're going to be seeing it up now. This guy has the Comfy, Gudra, Lapras, Incineroar, Roboom, and Magnezone. Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. This team looks insane. But when Torkoal gets banned, I feel like Sun teams are still going to be relevant because you can just use Ninetales in that place, and people already do that. So I, I feel like taking out Torkoal won't really take out Sun teams. It's more so like Trick Room teams. That uh, aren't going to thrive as much without Torkoal. But I have 25 seconds to pick. 25. Not looking good. Uh, but we're going to go Talonflame. For sure to get up by uh, Talon. Uh, I think I'm going to go Butterfree. I think I'm going to get Butts out here. Butterfree. And they're canceling out Indeedies, which is insane. It is absurdly insane. We're going to go Gyarados. And let's go Charizard. Let's go Charizard. Let's go No Sun here. Let's get out Charizard. No Sun. Hey. No Sun. Hey. Because we just showed off Sun in the last one. Usually, like, I probably would have or should have went Sun here. There's no really way of change of weather besides Dynamaxing. action. That could have been good. I could have kind of took weather control and rolled out from there. But still, I wanted to have some fun with it. I want to get Gyarados up in here. Probably Dynamax him. He's got that Moxie boost as well. So if I can get it off a kill and just start boosting our stats, we should be chilling. But it goes Gudra and Comfy. Like, yeah, I heard this combo is just absurd. I heard it is big. I heard it is bulk. Yeah, I heard it just does everything right. But I cannot sleep powder, I think. I just realized that. I cannot sleep powder. The Gudra, because it's probably Sap Sipper. No cap. It's probably Sap Sipper. Probably Sap Sipper. Um, I feel like we have Speed Advantage already. I feel like we just roll into a dual wing beat. Maybe we do we quiver up? This thing's gotta be a Oh it's not G Max. I'm gonna quiver up though. I'm gonna get quivering up. I'm gonna get quivering. See how see how we can roll out with the quiver dance. We'll just go straight into a dual wing beat. I can always tell when the next turn if I really want to. I feel like we have speed advantage, so I might as well take a shot at him and try to pull off this little quiver dance. Try to pull off the quiver of the dances. Hey, hey, hey. Your coffee is so sick. A little layover here. He's going to withdraw coffee. Show me something that's super effective, though. Flying. Okay, Incineroar comes out. So the Intimidate's going to help him out. Just a tad bit. And then he's going to be able to fake me out next turn. I could put that thing, that thing to sleep. Which could be nice. But, yo, you drop my attack. What you mean? Not my face. He's going to Dynamax the Gudra. Oh, no. Not the Gudra, man. Gudra's an absolute tank. Who's he going to go after, though? Whom are you going to go after? Kind of. And if he sets rain, then he might be a hydration. It means I can put him to sleep. But I, I, I highly think he's sad. So I'm not going to try to waste it. I'm not going for it. The wing beat comes out. Yo, if he avoids it. Yo, what you mean? What do you mean? We quiver dancing up now. We quivered up. Special attack, special defense, and our speed gets the boost. And the Hailstorm is going to drop. Probably going after Butts. Leave my Butterfree alone. Leave my Butterfree alone. Takes me down to four. He's just going to fake me out. He's just going to fake me out and take me out. Or the Buffets are just going to do it. Man! We're not sitting good. We're not sitting good. Not even close. Just an early start for this guy. Coming after your boy. Leave me alone. Gujar gets buffeted by the Storm as well. Um, Who did I bring out here? Like, Gujar's such a tanky little... Come on, dude. He's such a beast. I'm gonna go Charizard. I think I gotta go with Big Dog right here. Yeah, I gotta go Big Dog. Yeah, I gotta go Big Dog here. He can choose who he wants to pick out. I've got a Dynamax this thing, and I think I'm going to Geyser out into the the Witch call it. Into the Incineroar. And I'm gonna try to set up a Tailwind. Just try to take speed advantage for the rest of the match. It's a Geyser. Let's get it. Let's change up this weather. We can get that Moxie boost as well, because this should be able to just uh, take it out one shot. No probs. No probs. Let's see protect. But yeah, I think he's he's going for the fake out. Oh, he does withdraw. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. Back into Comfy, man. Back into the boy, Comfy. This guy's just playing the swap game. He's going to swap back into the Cinemore in a little bit. I'm trying to get that Intimidate off again. You buttery little biscuit, dude. But yeah, Comfy is an absolute beast, especially with his its ability. Like, Gudra is so tanky enough. Once I start bringing his HP down, he's going to try it, use Floral Healing, bang, yo, back up to a big amount of HP, and he's just going to keep rolling out with that. So that, that is what's so tough, especially Dynamax Gudra, because, like, it is so hard to one-tap a Dynamax Gudra unless your stats are just boosted out the buns. It's just so hard. It is so hard. Like, I don't even know if I ever did that before. Let me know in the comment section down below, like, what one-shots a Gudra. I know you guys would know. You guys are all good with all the stats and all that. But here goes our Geyser. He wants some nice damage. Take it out. Oh, my. Ah! Oh, ah! That one hurts. That one hurts. Ah, hurt me, man. You hurt me, man. Guys are coming back out. Okay, that's fine. And he's gonna get the water boost. That's why. <laughs> he's gonna get the water boost. Talon Flame's gone. Bow shell. Bow shell. And Charizard's not gonna be thriving. 
Charizard is not going to be thriving. thriving. He, he's going to have the speed advantage. I did have, like, bounce or something. I can bounce out of here. <laughs> like, say, see you later, yo. Okay, so Charizard's out. Let's get it, Char. Char, Charizard. Uh, Charizard's going to be pretty fast. I'm just going to go for the Heat Wave so I can take out the Comfy. Actually, if he goes Draining Kiss, we will not be able to take out the Comfy. So I'm definitely going to go into an Air Slash. Then probably just roll into a Geyser or roll into... Mm, no, no Geyser. Airstream. Yeah, I guess we gotta go in airstream. Start boosting speed, but oh my god, we're not looking good. Not even close to looking good. Comfy is definitely going for uh, that draining kiss to get that first turn priority. Send it over on my Charizard, get some HP back. I was gonna go for the heat wave, but I was like, if he goes for that draining kiss, we're not gonna be able to get HP back. Or we're not gonna be able to kill him because he's gonna get a good amount of HP, and heat wave's gonna be neglected by the rain. This is gonna be terrible, man. It's just gonna be terrible. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, but a lot of people have been telling me, like, yo, Guja Comfy is the combo right now. And I, I can see. I can see it. Comfy protect. Smart little cookie there. He's gonna take out my Charizard, no problem. Gonna take out my Charizard, no problem. Bye bye, Charizard. Think my Gyarados can sweep? Think he can sweep? <laughs> I hope so. I hope he can sweep. That'd be hilarious. Dun, 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 dun. Could you imagine a comeback four person sweep? He's gotta get a Cinnamon in here soon. He goes to Wormwood. Oh, he's dropping my attack. Smart cookie. Gonna have my Charizard eat a Char. Charizard eats. Let's get it. Charizard's eating. He's surviving another turn, but still, Draining Kiss is going to come out here and kill me. Stick it, Skin. I'm done with it. I'm moving. This game stinks. <laughs> this game stinks. We're minus one. We're about to go back up uh, plus one. Yeah, I might as well go for it now. Yeah, I might as well go for it. If I can land it, that'd be wonderful. I might as well go after the Gudra. We might just floral healing the Gudra. But Gujar might protect. Draining Kiss, I kind of saw that one coming. Hopefully this Airstream should be able to take out this Gujar. Now we're minus one. Ah! Ah! I hate this game! I hate this game. Unless EQ, I can pick up a double kill. If I pick up a double kill, is that double plus two? Like Moxie Boost? That'd be awesome. Take it out. Please. Please. Bro, I got these two down to the wire. To the wire here. Draco Meteor coming out here. Leave me alone, kids. Leave me alone. Hey, bruh. Get out of my face. We got these two down to, like, the brim. And I'm hoping I can pull off this EQ. I should. I'll be faster than the uh, Gujar, just not the Comfy. I'm going to go EQ. I'm going to say, if I take both these out, I should go a plus two. Which I am minus one right now. I will be minus, or I will go even. If I go a plus two, because then Incineroar comes out with Intimidate. If I pick up a double kill, I never did this before with Moxie. Is that plus two or is that plus one? It should be plus two, but you never know. You never know. Training case comes out. It's not coming my way. We'll be able to eat that one up. No problem. Tasty little snack there. He's going to get a little bit of HP, but I still think we should be, be able to pick up this double kill. Even though it's not stab. Get it. EQ coming out here. Gujar's dead for sure. They got the comp. Okay, so double kill. Double Moxie boost. Show it to me. We got Tailwind still. He's going to fake me out, which is tough. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, Moxie Boost. Show me plus two. Show me plus two. Attack a Rose Sharply. That's two, right? Yes. Tailwind does Peter out. We're at plus two. We are plus two in this. So we're at plus one right now because we got minus one from the Wormwind. And we're about to go out with a uh, even. We're going to break even right now because of the Intimidate. And he's just going to fake me out. Bro, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Only way we're winning is if, it, if he doesn't fake out and he misses his attack or something like that. I can just waterfall and knock this thing pieces. Let's see what you got. Don't you dare go for the fake out. You're a wimp if you go for the fake out. You're a wimp. I'm telling you. If you go for this fake out, you are a loser. Bruh. Oh my god. We got a loser now. <laughs> he gets a crit too. What you mean? Yeah, there's flinches and free shot comes out. Bang the out. That is game. We go one and one so far. We're going to hop into our third and final battle now. And try to get ourselves a winning record. I feel like if we just would have went in Sun Team and played it simple, we probably could have won that. But I wanted to show off some other things considering we already got to show off the Sun and all the Charizard in the first battle. One and one so far. Trying to get a winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We're going for it. This guy has a Trick Room team, or he can roll it out differently because he has Dragapult, Colossal, Primarina, Rillaboom, Porygon 2 for that Trick Room Center, and the big old Mud Sale. That might be a Stamina Mud Sale, or it might just be Own Tempo. I think it's Stamina. Because he doesn't have anybody really with, like, Swagger on here. I don't think any of these guys roll Swagger. Unless Porygon 2 does. But I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Definitely Talonflame. 
Let's get that speed rolling. Um, we can also taunt with the Talon Flame, which is wonderful, which is just gorgeous. So we can taunt on that Porygon too if he wants the sauce. Um, who else should I roll? Who else should I roll? Turn one. Turn one. Who, who am I rolling? We got the. We gotta go Sun Team. I feel like, but I think I got Michael Gyarados. This is a nice little lead here. Let's go Gary. Let's go Gary to Gyarados. Bring in Venus or, you know, let's go Torkoal. I got Torkoal right off the rip. Because then Flare Blitz can be able to do a lot more. I can just go Venusaur. Let's go Venusaur because then eventually I can always swap it to Torkoal and then just go Charizard here. We get rolling from there. Let's get rolling from here. Just go with the ye old Sun Squad. The ye old Sun Squad. The ye old Sun Squad here. That mispronounced real quick. But hopefully we can get this winning record. I'm going for it, guys. I'm going for it. For you guys. For you guys. Seriously, if you guys do enjoy the content, make sure you support the channel. Smash that like button and click that big subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Seriously, like, if you're not subscribed and you watch my videos, like, what are you doing? Just hit that subscribe button. Makes things easier for you. Puts me in your subscriber feed, all that good stuff. And it shows support for the channel. Helps it grow. But it goes Primarina and Colossal. We got Venusaur and Talon here. Do I roll straight into a Talon? I think it's smart to roll into a Talon. I could die here, too. I might just throw somebody to sleep. Such as Colossal. I say we put Colossal. I say we put Colossal down here. Hey, hey, Colossal, get the, get in the bed. He's gonna Aqua Jet it. That's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna Aqua Jet it, and then he's gonna go into the Steam Engine. That's fine. He's gonna Steam Engine weakness policy, and if we can get this thing to sleep, we'll be chilling. Yeah, when this come out, we get first turn priority. But then he's probably gonna Aqua Jet. He does not Dynamax. He goes straight for the Aqua Jet just like that. Just like that. That's some damage. I probably could have just doubled up into that thing and tried to take it out. He did not Dynamax. You buttery biscuit. What are you up to? You're up to no good. He's up to no good. I think he's going for a, a heat wave or something. Trying to double double up. Go ahead, outspeed him, Venusaur. Do him dirty. No, nope, Rock Side comes out. Venusaur should be able to eat up a Rock Side. Venusaur eats up the Rock Side. Wonderful. Yo, put this thing to sleep. Talonflame already kind of did his job. Talonflame already did his job. Getting off that talent. Bro, all right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Get out the Torkoal. Get out the Torkoal, yo. Get him out. Get it out the Torkoal right now as we speak. We really flinched, bro. Get out my face. I'm sick of this game. I'm sick of it. I'm over it. <laughs> We're going to bring out the Drought. That's definitely going to help him out, but I feel like Chlorophyll, Tailwind, Venusaur should be able to outspeed that plus six uh, boy right there. I'm going to drop a Solar Beam on you to tell you to go home. And then, do I just drop a Solar Beam over on you? No. <laughs> EP? I could EP. I could Sludge Bomb Ooh. We can do some dirty burning. Do I Dynamax? No. I think like I just put this thing to sleep. And then worry about it later. Let's put this thing to sleep. Let's put it to sleep. Say, I'm not dealing with you, kid. We have Charizard in the back end. And, like, I'm just sick of this. I'm just sick of you, Colossal, getting that flinch off on me. Because that rock side. Like, what you mean, dog? You're supposed to be slumped right now. We're supposed to be chilling. I could have just went into a solar beam this turn. Earth Power Jew just doubled you down. Because I don't know if Earth Power is going to take out that Colossal right now. This is not stab. It is not stab for the Venus. Get him out of here. So you make a move, kid. You make a move. Sleep powder comes out first. Yeah. Yeah, you're plus six. Colossal's not outspeeding my chlorophyll tailwind Venusaur right here. Yeah, it's just not happening. Let's see what you go for, Primarina. He goes for a scald. Probably over on my Torkoal. Torkoal's gonna say, yo, dude, that's a tasty snack right here. Let me show you what a solar beam looks like. Let me show you what a solar beam looks like. Let me show it to you. This is exactly what it looks like. Oh, this thing has a berry. That's fine. I'll be able to uh, dump on an extra with my Venusaur. Eats up the berry. Half the damage. This isn't stab, but still. Let's get it, Venusaur. Or let's get it, Torkoal. Doing some damage over onto it. The Rindo berry helping it out. Now I'm not Now I'm not playing around. Do I Solar Beam up on you? Or do I swap? I just drop a Heat Wave. Exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going to definitely just uh, Solar Beam over onto you. You want, fool? We're coming for you. You protected, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. If this colossal wakes up, I'm gonna cry a little bit. You need to start being blocked. You're blocked. You're getting blocked. It's all good. Dun, 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 dun. Sing so fast sleep. And we're gonna be able to get Alpha Heat Wave. How much damage are we gonna be able to do with Heat Wave? How much damage are we gonna do with this colossal with a Heat Wave? In the sun, stab with charcoal. Poo poo damage, though. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Another solar beam coming out here. I'm not playing around. He actually might swap. Do I swap as well? I think I might play the swap card. No, no, no. We're not going to play the swap card. I'm going to drop another heat wave. 
Drop another heat wave just in case he swaps something. And we're gonna go after another solar beam here. I want this colossal out of here. Like I'm totally sick of it. You know which all I knew he's gonna swap. I knew he's gonna swap. He's gonna go into Porygon too, which I'm totally fine with. Nice little heat wave onto that thing. And they uh and the solar beam? He's gonna take it, he might be able to take it. Solar beam coming out here. Get him! Get him, Venusaur. You ain't playing around, kid! You're not playing around. I'm more so just worried about this colossal, man. Kinda scary, right? Get it. Get it. Do some nice damage over on it. He's still slumped. He's still slumped. Heat wave coming out here again. Heat wave. Yeah, he. Do some nice damage over on to it. Get it. Get it out of here. Tailwind's petering out. Oh, this thing's gonna be able to outspeed me now. It's colossal. Do I go after the colossal? Definitely gonna drop a heat wave. I think I just dropped an EP over on this onto this thing. Show me it's sleeping. He's gonna be able to ease out speed of me. He's plus six. Chlorophyll doesn't really help out. He's gonna oh dude wakes up and he goes for rock slizzle. He's gonna pick up the double kill. I'm terrified right now. We both solve Dynamax. He's gonna be able to get off a trick room. That's game. That's game. No! I should have took out the colossal. He goes for the recover. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. He recovers up. It's fair. Charizard's the only one left. He has solar power. He does have solar power. He could be able to do some big old damage here. Um, who do I take out? I feel like I have to take out the Colossal. Right? That's a fact. I feel like I have to take out the Colossal here. But uh, both these moves are just doo-doo on it. I feel like I have to take out this Colossal with this, right? What would be better? What would be better? I mean, I could get the recovery points here. And hope for the KO. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with the uh, max upgrade. We gotta get rid of this Colossal. As much as this Porygon's probably gonna go for a Trick Room. We'll see. We'll see. I really want to get rid of that, but say this thing with a Dynamax or just drop a Rock Slide, that's super effective. That's gonna be doing some big damage to me. He's plus two. My Charizard is not gonna outspeed him. Like, I don't think my Charizard is gonna outspeed this thing. He's still gonna be able to get off this Rock Slide. So hopefully we can eat it up and be chilling. But nah, we should have took out the Colossal early on. 100% yeah. We should we 100% should have took out the Colossal early on. I feel like uh, we could have just pestered it around. Maybe got rid of the Prima Arena and the Colossal at the same time. But yo, didn't work out for your boy. We go 1 and 2 with this team. Not bad. We got to show off the team in the first battle. And we didn't play bad the next two. Didn't play too bad with this team. I actually really did enjoy it. I feel like if I played with it a little bit more, I probably could have got a more wins with it. Because this team is awesome. I'm a big fan of Sun Teams. And usually once I learn the Sun Teams, I usually start rolling and going pretty strong with them. But one last shout out to my boy Biggs for dropping this team. Absolutely love it. I love the Moxie Gyarados mixed in with all the Sun Pokemon. And Tailwind over here. Not Tailwind. Talonflame over here. Talonflame is an absolute beast. One of my new favorite Isle of Armor Pokemon. It's just so strong. Especially with that Gale Wings ability. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.